Maryland schools are introducing new testing, new standards, new curriculum. And we know there are questions. We are all here with the same goal, to prepare our kids for the future. What are these new standards that I'm hearing about? Who's affected by the new standards? What are the Maryland College and Career Ready Standards? The College Career Readiness Standards are standards that are adopted by the state of Maryland to help our students get prepared and ready for college or career once they graduate from high school. The new standards are a way for students to be better prepared for lifetime learning. So we are trying to get our students not only ready for middle school, but also what they're going to be learning in high school and throughout their college career. We are changing the way we're teaching for the future, that we're actually preparing children for jobs that might not exist today. Why do we need this change? How are the new standards different? The world's changing every single day. We live in a pretty competitive society, and we need our kids to be able to meet the challenges. In the classroom, we want to replicate what the students are going to experience in the real world. And as different careers change and college becomes more intensive, we need to up our game. I hear so much about the term college and career ready. What does that really mean? Well, for my students in my classroom, it means getting them ready for the new jobs that are out in the world today. Um, it's more problem solving, it's more um, student centered, it's more teamwork. College and career ready means that these students, when they leave high school, have the ability to compete against not just their classmates here in school, but everybody throughout the country. We really want to make sure that our students are ready to compete globally. Um, we want them to have 21st century skills. As a parent, what kind of change can I expect to see? What kind of skills are being emphasized? Could you give me some examples of how teaching will be different or how the classroom environment might change? Some of the biggest changes are the emphasis on writing and critical thinking for our students. There is a lot more group work involved, so we have a lot more, more collaborative assignments. We are making sure that we are understanding why we are learning things, not just the simple memorization, but how did we get there and why are we getting there. How am I going to use this outside of school, but we're going to show you. We might pose a problem to the students, and rather than the teachers explaining step by step how to solve it, we'll have the kids come up and teach other students. Okay, you guys are going to work as a team. Instead of telling them what they need to think, we're giving them the option to discover what they want to learn. Three. Good. What can we do at home to support these changes? How could I help my children with this transition? Is there anything extra I could be doing at home? A lot of what parents have already been doing, they can continue doing. Asking your child when you come home, what did you learn today? Continually reading with your children is a skill that, um, even if your child is a fluent reader, it's still something that they can enjoy together. Having them reteach you their concepts helps them learn. The best, the best way to learn is to teach. Hey mom, you know how we haven't been catching a lot of crabs in the bay this year? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because of all the pollution in the water. I think it's very That's important for parents to true. use the real life and the real world and the world around all of you to teach your, your students. When real world problems come up in the household, how many have you, them help them solve the problems. We didn't include mom, how many cookies would we have? We would ha get, we get four. Four, each. four each. Let them do the thinking and let them explain it to you. We should save mommy some cookies. No. Okay. What are these new park assessments I've been hearing about? I heard the tests are more difficult. What does that mean for our children? So my kids are a little nervous about the tests. What can I do to help them? I think that parents need to be aware that we have a new testing system, but there's no need to be scared. As long as students are coming to school each day, going home and reviewing the content on a daily basis, there's no need for them to stress out. Park exams. Everything is handled within the classroom. It's what they are learning day to day. It's nothing that they have to prepare for at home. The only difference about PARC as opposed to our uh, previous testing is that it's based on the computer. So students will actually be taking it on the computer rather than on a bubble sheet or filling a Scantron in. How can I help and support my kids through this change? How can I support and encourage my child through this change? Talking to your students, asking them what it is that they um, have been learning, I think is probably number one. Be involved with your students. Get to know your teachers. We're here to help you. We want your student to succeed. Parents, as long as you continue to help your students, engage your students, have conversations with your students, ask them about what's going on, 
it'll help everybody progress to another level. No, they do different selections together. In four or five minutes. I see it. It is an exciting time because we are progressing to new and exciting things. What the students are bringing to the classroom is much more than I have ever seen before. Change is always kind of difficult to have to deal with at first, but I think that all parties, whether it be the teachers who are on board, the students who are now getting wind of things, as well as the parents, um, change will be a good thing. I love learning and I love having the students learn, and learning in this new way is, is absolutely exciting.